full repertoire. Remember when we first saw him? He was at UConn. Yep. We were in Maui, and remember Kevin Ollie saying he's going to be a pro. Sharp spins around Durham and lays it in. I think it's imperative that Durham stays on the floor. Yeah, that's the problem is with so many big bodies, you can just send body after body at Durham. And, you know, he could have picked up a foul there. Obviously, it wasn't a foul, but could have picked up one. And you know, De'Ron Sharp, it, it, these guys are already first, 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 and first, as you can see about just about any rebounding stat you can find. They're right up there near or at the top. Yeah, their offensive rebounding, they're number one in the country. Second is Houston. And there you see De'Ron Sharp just come in and did a good job guarding Carolina's secondary break action. Another Irish turnover. Look at Baycott. The two big guys lead in the break. Eventually, Walt misses a great look for a three. Good pass. Well, you saw some skills. Baycott, lead. good wing rebounder uh, as well. Averages over five rebounds a game. He leads North Carolina in steals. And you know, he, he's hit a few threes on the year. I think he's here, but I think six of those eight have come in two games. You know, he had a couple against Duke and then wound up hitting four of four against Miami down at Coral Gables. He had 16 points. A freshman who has really stepped up his play the last few weeks and again with the garrison of Brooks unable to go it seems tonight because of the ankle injury. Kessler's minutes will increase. Oh. Seventh offensive rebound of the game. All Love and Davis and all freshman backcourt. Sharp back in there, spins around Durham and lays it in. Got him isolated in the loss. And hockey, I believe, are the uh, co-national sports in my country. I, believe. I, be I think we have two national sports. They they share it equally. I think I read that in a uh, almost took out Kentucky. Yeah. They had a shot to win the game. And I believe the Elite Eight. Yes. Sharp inside again. He's just too strong. You just can't deny yeah, He's one of those players that he moves really well, but you cannot move him. Dayron Sharp is a load, man. A little bit strong. Methodical about it and start trying to chip away at this lead. Roy Williams on the other side, guys, for UNC, said he knew coming in that they would have a size and depth advantage even without Garrison Brooks. Really pleased with the way they've been able to take advantage of that in the first half. They have to continue to do it. There's Ryan again knocking it away. And he didn't come over to double team. He came over to steal it. Goodwin drives another rejection Ryan runs it down, but can't finish As big and just as good. Yeah, you've got to stay out there the whole night and just do the best you can it's like trying to play no huddle Armando Bacon with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now nice turnaround by sharp hey, your, your jump shot attempt by Durham that was a big play because that that, that really allowed Carolina to move away from Notre Dame when Notre Dame had a chance to really cut into this lead and make it in distancing but it is clearly a pro Carolina crowd and not, not unexpectedly sharp pass yeah. my goodness and Baycott just with enough strength to rip two and that will tie him with Bob Knight for fourth on the Division one men's coaching list for most wins really incredible And you know Roy Williams was an assistant to Dean Smith for quite some time before he got his first head coaching job